Good morning everyone. Well, you're probably wondering where I am in the dark. Well, I'm at the mouth of the Hawkesbury River. I'm with me mate Michael. Now we're going to head up the Hawkesbury River. We're going to head probably about another hour inland up the Hawkesbury River to where I painted before at Struden's Lookout. But we're going to go before there to a place called Freeman's Reach. So, here we are at the mouth of the Hawkesbury River. This is Brooklyn. You can't really see because it's so so dark and, and so early. But anyway, we're going to get in the car and uh, we're going to drive an hour inland up to the Hawkesbury River to paint the mighty Hawkesbury. Let's go. Okay, we made it to the Hawkesbury. We're at the beautiful Hawkesbury River. So Michael and I have come down. So let's have a look. Now the only problem is, it's too foggy. <laughs> We've got to wait for the fog to clear. So I reckon another half an hour or so, but we can get set up. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my drone, I'm going to pop my drone up just over the trees. So once once that fog clears, um, I will have a bit of, bit of distance in my composition. So yeah, show you guys. So yeah, there's the, this is the mighty, the mighty Hawkesbury. Michael was just thinking what he's going to do with his composition. But I'm, I'm thinking about, basically, if you look up the river there, it sort of S's off, and you've got the Blue Mountains in the distance. Now, if I pop the drone up about 50 metres or so, um, you're going to be able to see distance and the river and some farms and all that. So, yeah, that's what I want to chuck in. So I'm just going to use a little bit of artistic licence for my distance. But, um, yeah, I think we're going we're gonna to do a good painting. We've both got big canvases. Um, we keen, keen the paint and um, we've come all the way out here, so yeah, it's going to be a good morning. Okay, I'm ready, all set up, ready to go. This, this is what I'm using. I'm using Scarlet Lake, Burnt Sienna, Spectrum yellow, um, yellow ochre, viridian. I will get some um, emerald green out, maybe. Uh, Lizard and crimson, cobalt blue, ultra and blue, titanium white. And I've made up some Coles beeswax, which is about 25% beeswax. And I've used about 60% oh, or so of um, pure gum turpentine. So that's my mix. I've just so this is a canvas, but I've just sewed stacks of gesso real rough to give it like an impesto because i'm going to be working thick so yeah that's what um that's what i've got nice thick canvas so i like using canvas but i like using a smooth canvas so each to their own but anyway look at the spot how good is this beautiful majestic hawkesbury river look at that the mighty river and uh my mates over there will pop in every now and then see how he's going he's in the shade there he forgot to bring his hat so, um, yeah, I offered him some sunblock, but he's right, he's happy in the shade. But yeah, Struden coming out here, I'm pretty sure Struden done a painting from somewhere here, because I remember looking at one of his paintings, it was similar to this scene. But uh, that's, ain't that beautiful? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pop the drone up, and I'm going get, to get up high, just over these shoe oak trees here, to see if I can get a good, little bit, of, bit more distance. Because basically, if you look at it as, as it is, you look out there, You've got basically on that river bend that turns and you can't see anymore. You can just see the blue mountains there uh, in the distance. But if I pop the drone up just up over these trees here, uh, we'll be able to um, get a, um, a little bit of distance and I can chuck that in, in the distance of my painting. So beautiful spot. Just the only thing is there's a main road here that um, goes out to farms and all that. So I'll get the odd car going by, but hopefully um, I'll try and film when there's not many cars going by, but yeah, let's paint. So pumped, coming out to the beautiful Hawkesbury, the paint, really excited, big painting. If it turns out, I might chuck it into the win prize um, or the Hawkesbury art prize, see how we go. Let's paint.
So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to establish my block in. So I've left a little bit, I've actually elevated the view a little bit. And um, basically the view that I'm looking at when you look out there. So you can see the view I'm looking at, I'll just get back here. Basically I'm looking at a view like this. That's what I'm going to have in my painting. But as I said, I've used a little bit of the uh, artist license just to raise above the trees so I can see what's in the distance. I can chuck a little bit of that in instead of basically what you can see, just tiny bits of farmland, but I'm going to have a little bit of farmland. So I'll work it out. I'll work it out as I go. But um, yeah, just getting the wash in now and um, we'll go from there. So we'll just take a little stroll down here, see how Michael's going. How you going? You, you haven't sat on that lounge down there yet. <laughs> Someone's dumped a lounge down here in a case of beer. Terrible. You've lost your titanium white. Where is it? He's lost his white. Anyway, I can see what you're doing. Yours is very similar to mine. Are you going to chuck some trees in? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, are you going to put this tree in the left and that there? Oh, no, I'm not going to have this tree here. Oh, okay. I'm um, getting that bank. Yep. Fork, this is the foreground. Yep. Go so a dark foreground. Australian gold. Red yep. gold here. Yep. The yep. Sunspot. Yep. And the banks there, the highlights. Yep. The banks there and yep. the backdrop of the mountains and the sky. Yeah, well, pretty much my, mine's similar, but my, mine's is up there, so I'm going to have the she-oak on the left and... Whatever that are tree they, is there on the right. Are they she oaks, are they? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to have a little bit elevated so you can see the distance. Just some farms and that in the distance. Uh -huh. So, yeah, okay. All right, I'll let you get to it. No worries. Find your titanium white. I'll come and check in a bit later, all right? All right. All right. So, yeah, just starting with the wash now. I want to try. It's a big painting. Normally, this could take me three hours, but I want to work quick. I want to get it done in about 90 minutes. That's the goal loose impressionistic that's the goal so yeah let's paint So yeah, I'm using this coal wax medium that I whipped up. Basically it's like butter. And that gives a really good matte finish. So I've used it before. It's a real matte finish, it's not a gloss finish. So I'll be popping that in probably when I get to the... I don't think I'll use it in the sky. Oh, but then again, I might use it in the sky. I might use it the whole painting. But I'll add a bit more as I come back to the uh, foreground. So yeah, nice and uh, buttery. Okay, I'm gonna whip up a cloud color here.
So far I'm digging what I like, I'm pumped, got me mate here, we're having a good old morning. It's not too hot, it's going to be about 30 something today, but we're, we're nice and early, it's probably only about 8.30 in the morning. Anyway, um, it's coming together, keep the mood going, keep the colours right, the atmosphere, and uh, hopefully I'll get a good painting out of it. Just doing the, the mountains in the distance, the blue mountains in the distance now. I'm just chipping away at different sections. There's some she oaks on the other side of the river out there. Okay, quick coffee. Okay, quick coffee break. Just having a bit of bit of me coffee. Fantastic. My mate's going all right down there. He's sort of at the same sort of stage. Okay, let's have a look at it. So so far, I'm digging what I've seen. I'm going to get the, what I'm going to do is get the darks of these trees in now. Then I'm going to um, get that right. Actually, no, I'll get the water in. Get that water in. Get those colours in. And then. I'll get the dark of these trees in and then yeah it's coming along I'm I'm happy with it it's so far so good as long as I get mood and atmosphere in it I'm happy with it so yeah obviously it's a little bit different but this is what I came for I came for this as it looks now it's beautiful I think just by lifting that drone up and giving me the little bit of the elevated distance I'm really really happy with that so yeah so far so good let's soldier on finish this coffee get this painting done it's about 
We've been here, what do I say, 90 minutes? Nah, <laughs> I've been doing 90 minutes now and I'm only halfway, so I reckon another hour I'll be there. So anyway, let's paint and um, I'll quickly show you guys where my mate's up to, Michael. Okay, so he's getting, he's going all right, he's in the distance as well. Beautiful. Yeah, I love your distance. Your distance is really good. Now he's doing his trees on the left there. Get the, get those shapes right, bro. Yeah. He's going good. So we're both sort of similar stages. We worked on the middle ground. And uh, yeah, we're going all right. Let's soldier on. Let's do Arthur Struden and Charles Condor proud, eh? Or well, Charles Condor, ain't it? Condor or Condor? Anyway, Charles. What I've done is I've decided not to put the tree on this side at the moment. I'll get it all done and I'll have a look at it because I think if I chuck that tree in there, that might overdo it and I might wreck it. So I'll get this side done, get the grass done, and then um, we'll look at it from there and uh, make that, that decision. Is it worth chucking this tree in or not? Okay, I've done the painting. I'm happy with it. Tell me what you think, folks. Sorry about the car noise. There's a lot of cars getting by. But yeah, there's the painting. Tell me what you think in the comments. I didn't opt for that tree there. My mate's still painting down there, so if I get a chance, uh, my battery's getting a bit low, so I'll just show you guys the painting. And if it cuts out, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for coming along, and I'll catch you in the next one. And, uh, yeah, quite happy with it. I think I really caught the Hawkesbury here. It was great coming out painting. Thanks for coming along, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.
So yeah, here's Michael's painting. He's still going. Nothing. Still. Are oh, you get you happy with that? You're not yeah. going to chuck trees in? I've had. Are oh, you happy? Yeah. Oh, it looks good to me. Look at that. Everyone, can you see that? Hopefully you can see because it's in shadow and a bit of light, but he's done well. I'll tell you what, it wasn't easy, wasn't it? No. No, Dude, it was yeah. hard. Oh, we had a good old time anyway coming down here and painting. So yeah, once again, thanks for coming along and catch us in the next one. See ya. <laughs>